This week on App Central, Fig, the all-in-one wellness app. Play foosball on a tablet-sized table. Plus, turn your iPad into a guitar. App Central, Wednesday, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific on BNN. Our guest has produced more than 30 feature films, including the Globe and Golden Globe winner and Academy-nominated Barney's version. But Robert Lantos's latest venture is in TV. Now, he's spearheading a new application to the CRTC for an all-Canadian feature film movie channel. It would be called Starlight. For more on this, well, we're joined now by Robert Lantos. It's great to see you. Nice to see you, Robert. Great to be here. So the idea here is would be a movie channel that would just just show Canadian films. And why do you think this is essential, Robert? Well, you know, it is a we have a very unusual situation in Canada. There is no equivalent to it anywhere in the world. We have a vibrant film industry in French and English. Um, and but the when it comes to the television broadcasting system, none of those those films are not available to the consumer. This doesn't happen anywhere else. Any other country where there is a film industry, Germany, Italy, the UK, France, um, the national broadcasters, uh, private, public, all play domestic films in prime time. In Canada, no one does and hasn't for a very long time and they do less and less to the extent that they ever did. So CBC has maybe three or four a year, CTV has nil, Global has nil, the specialties you know, there were a couple of specialty networks that I used to own that I launched called Showcase and History Channel. They used to have a lot of Canadian films, but they don't have any now. Uh, City TV used to have some 20 a year, but it has gone to zero. So I won't enumerate the whole, you know, the entire sort of list of Canadian broadcasters, but bottom line is if you want to see a Canadian feature film, you can't see it on your own town and anywhere on the dial. 